friends the next question is related to the calculation of equilibrium constant at certain temperature 2hi in equilibrium with h2 plus i2 only 50 percent of hi is dissociated at equilibrium the equilibrium constant is option a 0.5 option b 0.25 option c 1 and option d 3 before solving this problem i will tell you what is equilibrium constant equilibrium constant for a reaction is the ratio of product of concentration of the product to the concentration of the reactant raised to the powers equal to the stoichiometries as per the balanced chemical equation so i can write equilibrium constant for the reaction as equilibrium constant kc is equal to concentration of h2 into concentration of i2 divided by concentration of hi square where concentration that is concentration of h2 concentration of i2 and concentration of hi are equilibrium concentrations hence we need to find the equilibrium concentration and then we should substitute here then how to find the equilibrium concentration consider the equation 2hi in equilibrium with h2 plus i2 let the initial number of moles i will write it here let the initial number of moles of hi taken be 2 then according to the equation 50 percent of hi undergoes dissociation amount dissociated if i consider two moles of hi to be taken initially then 50 percent of hi dissociate indicates that out of two mole one mole of hi dissociates then the number of moles at equilibrium if two moles of hi is initially taken and if one is the moles of hi that is dissociated then at equilibrium one mole of hi will be remaining according to the equation 2hi gives 1 h2 plus 1 i2 this clearly indicates that if one mole of hi dissociates then 0.5 mole of h2 and 0.5 mole of i2 will be formed hence equilibrium constant kc is equal to concentration of h2 at equilibrium that is 0.5 into concentration of i2 at equilibrium that is 0.5 divided by concentration of hi at equilibrium that is 1 so this will be equal to 0 0.25 hence option b is the right answer of nitrogen and 8 gram of hydrogen gas are heated in a closed vessel at equilibrium 34 gram of ammonia are present the equilibrium number of moles of nitrogen hydrogen and ammonia are respectively option a 2 2 and 1 option b 1 2 and 2 option c 2 1 and 2 option d 1 1 and 2 so i will write a balanced chemical equation for this reaction when nitrogen is treated with hydrogen to form ammonia we'll try to balance the equation two nitrogens so three moles of hydrogen so the balanced chemical equation is one mole of nitrogen reacts with three moles of hydrogen to give two moles of ammonia the question asked is we need to calculate the equilibrium moles of nitrogen hydrogen and ammonia respectively i'll write the initial number of moles that are taken initial number of moles in the question they have given 56 gram of nitrogen so 56 gram of nitrogen should be converted into number of moles when a mass is given to you number of moles can be calculated by the formula mass divided by molar mass hence 56 gram of nitrogen when you convert it into number of moles it corresponds to two moles of nitrogen because the molar mass of nitrogen is 28 hence 56 divided by 28 will be equal to 2 so the initial number of moles taken is 2 
the molar mass of hydrogen is 2 8 gram of hydrogen is given hence 8 divided by 2 will be equal to 4 hence the number of moles of hydrogen initially taken is 4 the question also indicates that at equilibrium 34 gram of ammonia are present that is I'll just write it as so 34 gram of ammonia is present so 34 gram of ammonia corresponds to 2 moles of ammonia because molar mass of ammonia is 17 34 divided by 2 is uh, 34 34 divided by 17 is equal to 2 so 2 moles of ammonia is formed students this equation clearly indicates that if 2 moles of ammonia is to be formed 1 mole of nitrogen should react with 3 moles of hydrogen that is 1 mole of nitrogen should react with 3 moles of hydrogen then only 2 moles of ammonia will be formed that means we will try to calculate the equilibrium concentration at equilibrium initial number of moles taken is 2 1 is reacted that means 1 mole should be remaining initial number of moles of hydrogen taken is 4 3 has reacted so what is remaining 1 is remaining and 2 moles of ammonia is formed so hence at equilibrium 1 mole of nitrogen 1 mole of hydrogen and 2 moles of ammonia will be present hence option D is the right answer question is related to the relation between Kp and Kc. I will read the question for you. For which of the following Kp is equal to Kc? Option A, PCl5 in equilibrium with PCl3 plus Cl2. Option B, 2SO2 plus O2 in equilibrium with 2SO3. Option C, N2 plus 3H2 in equilibrium with 2NH3. Option D, N2 plus O2 in equilibrium with 2NO. Before starting the solution for this, I will tell you a relation between Kp and Kc. Kp is related to Kc as Kp is equal to Kc RT raised to delta n where Kp is equilibrium constant in terms of partial pressure of reactant and products. Kc is equilibrium constant in terms of concentration of reactant and products. R is the gas constant. T is the temperature and delta n it is number of moles of gases product minus the number of moles of gases reactant the equation is to find the question is to find in which of the following reactions kp is equal to kc kp will be equal to kc if delta n is equal to 0 then what is delta n delta n is number of moles of gases product minus the number of moles of gases reactant hence we need to find delta n for all the reactions and for the reaction for which delta n equals to 0 will be the right answer. So for option 1 we will just find delta n. For option A I will try to find the value of delta n. For option A delta n is equal to moles of gases product. You can look at that 1 mole of PCl3 is formed and 1 mole of Cl2 is formed that is 2 moles of product and 1 mole of reactant. Hence, for option A, delta N is equal to 2 minus 1 that is equal to 1. Hence, for this reaction, Kp will not be equal to Kc. We will just try for option 2. For option, second option, the moles of gases product is 2. The moles of gases reactant is 2 plus 1, 3. Hence, delta N is equal to moles of gases product minus the moles of gases reactant that is equal to 2 minus 3 that is equal to minus 1. Hence, for this reaction also delta N is not equal to 0. We will just try for option number 3. For option number 3, you can see 2 moles of ammonia is formed from 1 mole of nitrogen and 3 moles of hydrogen. So, hence delta N is equal to 2 minus 4 that is equal to minus 2. Hence, option C is also not the right answer. We will just check for option D. For option D, delta N is equal to, delta N is equal to 2 moles of NO that is 2 minus 2 that is 1 mole of nitrogen and 1 mole of oxygen that is equal to 0. So, hence for option D, delta N is equal to 0. If you substitute delta N is equal to 0, 
KP will be equal to KC. Hence, option D is the right answer.